Hi everyone and welcome back to Tuscany. I am Danilo Romolini and today we are among the Val d'Orcia Hills, one of Italy's finest UNESCO World Heritage Sites. The property we're going to see today is a charming, fully restored country home located on a panoramic position overlooking these enchanted hills. Are you ready to see it? Come with me. The property starts by the entrance gate and immediately we enter its 3.2 hectares of land part of which are covered with about 150 olive trees that enrich this property and enclose us in an oasis of peace, where you can enjoy the simple things like the chirping of the birds and this light breeze coming from the valley. Before getting to the main country home, we pass by this building right here. It needs to be restored and it was used in the past to keep animals and also as a storage room. Today, it could be easily turned into a cute guest house. This country home was constructed on top of a rock and just like most farmhouses it was laid on two floors with the ground floor used for animals whilst the top floor as living spaces. Nowadays it's been totally restored keeping its original charm whilst maintaining and improving its features with modern facilities. All around the home it is easy to find several Belvedere spots where to relax in peace and enjoy the little things. So guys, we're now here with Giuseppe, who is the owner of the property. And I'm gonna ask him a few questions about this enchanted place. Salve Giuseppe. Allora, vorrei chiederti cos'è che ti ha portato in questo posto. Allora, la prima volta che ho visto il rudere, mi è sembrato di tornare indietro nel tempo. Cioè, il rumore del fiume, il paesaggio, la natura incontaminata, i colori, il rosso del corbezzolo nel bosco. Tornare proprio ai tempi dell'infanzia, la pace, il silenzio. Ho deciso di comprarla, di ristrutturarla così come era tutta la proprietà è ricca anche di muri molto antichi. Il castello illuminato diventa rosso nel, nel, nel tramonto. Bellissimo. Allora ora faccio vedere ai miei spettatori il resto della proprietà. Con piacere. Va bene? Con piacere. Grazie. Niente, grazie a voi. This entrance door we find this cozy and enclosed area where the animals used to be kept. Today it's been turned into a romantic and private location in the property making it ideal to have a romantic dinner or simply relax in the shade. Here we 
we not only access the home, but we also find two storage rooms and through this door we get to an independent bedroom with its ensuite bathroom. The country house immediately welcomes us in its cozy living spaces with these thick walls that keep it fresh and all of these different textures that give it so much charm. This home is 410 square meters with a total of four bedrooms and four bathrooms. Over here we find two sitting areas, the first one here and one right behind me. that door we have an access to the garden and over here we find a wonderful fireplace. The home then keeps going to this lovely dining area which is connected to this washroom right here. In the end then we get to this built-in kitchen with its fireplace and through this door it brings us again on the front facade of the villa. The first floor is where we find the rest of the bedrooms. They are three and they have been all equipped with a comfortable ensuite bathroom. Let's start by seeing the kids room right behind me. The floor keeps going through this hallway, which brings us to the independent access with the external staircase. Then over here we find the second bedroom with ensuite bathroom. And in the end, through the hallway, there is the third and last bedroom. And here we are, ending today's property tour. This home is doubtlessly hidden in a magical place with an enchanted atmosphere and an Italian soul. I hope you liked it and I hope to show it to you personally when you come over to Valdorcia. I will see you soon, ciao.